I can hear people. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I need no, to get no home shit. to Alice. Anyway, hi. What the hell is that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Old the old gods, gods of Asgard. Asgard. That name sounded familiar. <laughs> Neighbor of the Beast. And how do you not remember them? They were like the best part of the first game. Come on, Alan. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Hey! Hi, Casper fucking darling. Hi. Huh. Alright. 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 Oh, shit. A puzzle. Oh, wait. 665. The neighbor of the beast. Yeah. All right. All right. We saw a three digit code. Why wouldn't it be the one that we need? There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Oh, this is a good place for somebody to burst through one of these doors and come after me. Oh, this is suitably creepy. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Yeah, there was there's definitely something here, huh? And it's large and you don't have a gun, and is that the hiss? No, it's the exit sign, but it looks like the hiss. Oh great, game saved. I don't like that. For air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. Oh, is this Alan's goals? A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Okay. At the talk show, I had thought I was home in New York, but none of it felt right. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected that w what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. With the story I wrote, I projected myself out to I look for to a way to escape. Work. I had tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything Dor said had felt true. What was part of my writing are coming from, what was that part of my writing are coming from somewhere else? The dark place trapped, you must write to escape. And then, read me, beware scratch, Alice. 
Scratch is the evil alternate Alan Wake from American Nightmare. Maybe the base game, but I think I think just American Nightmare. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. we have Alan Wake here. Best-selling writer, the books, the films are based on. Let's do this! Sam put himself in the fucking game. Oh, this is gonna be good. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh... What's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you've voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well... In that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Great, murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Ooh, that camera spike at the end there was nice. Okay, so we're still in the American Nightmare loop, basically. Just in a different place. But it's still looping, so... Yeah, I love that Sam Lake is... is in this. That's hilarious. Sam, put yourself in your games even more often than you already do. I love that Alex Casey is just... we don't have the rights to, uh... to, uh, Max Payne anymore, so we just changed his name. <laughs> Alright, so we know the path through. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Interesting. 
it's the same book. Huh. Huh. All right, it's not 665 this time. Five, six, five. Yep. Oh, that's good. That's good. No static on the TV. Apparently, uh, they've announced the names of the DLC. One of them is just called Night Springs, which has me very excited. Because Night Springs, besides uh, the old gods of Asgard, was easily the best part of Alan Wake 1. Okay, we made it through this time. Hello? That? That sounds... Aughty? Oh, migraine room. Here we go. I don't see anything. A okay, shortcut back now. Oh boy, okay. We gotta find the key to the basement. Oh, hey, Ate. Ah, Lord Aid. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Okay. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Agree? <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thank you, Arty. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. 
Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Yeah, the janitor is a friendly face. Good to see Ati's back. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, Remedy. That was a deep basement. Ati wouldn't send me to die. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Or you left for yourself? Looking at the stuff, the third eye. Zane! Alright, so Zane's still part of the story. He's still being mentioned, at least. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward. The lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Oh, okay. That's real good. That's real good. That's a ri Okay, I like this mechanic a lot. Use it as a way to traverse areas. So I know that there is combat on Alan's sides as well. Um... He's got a, like, the pre-order comes with a skin for his revolver. And a, uh... And you can see that he gets a double-barrel shotgun as well. But... I... Was not expecting... Like, this seems to be much more puzzly on his side than anything. Janitor's assistant. Go see Ati again. Okay. Can't talk to Ati again. That's fine. We need to figure out how, where to go forward here. Let's look at the map. Where are we going? So this is where we started. Uh... So we started, I guess, on stage? Came through here to the cafeteria. We came through storage. Got to the janitor's room, back store. Or back, okay, so basement. And there's a door to the first floor in the basement somewhere. And that'll go from first floor shortcut laundry and stuff. Okay, so we need to go back down to the basement. Got it, got it, got it. We still don't have a gun, so I'm not super worried about, like, something coming to get me. I um, felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. Change that light. The glow and, in the lamp um, went out, shifting the light in the room. The yep. lamp carved out something new from the darkness. Sick. I love this mechanic. All right, well, let's steal the light back because 
there's different rooms even. There's goddamn different rooms behind the doors. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's going to make things way more complex later. I needed to find another way out. Like when you ooh Like combat and stuff could be really interesting. Swapping but what the fuck? Why'd you charge through that door like that, Alan? The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The light switch. I lost it. But I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, and the compass that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean, and a lake that's not a lake. to this trap. 